Hello there, good afternoon, good evening or good morning, whatever time you're watching this. Um, I hope you're well and keeping that way. Um, today, um, following on with the magic um, uh, discoveries that I've been uh, finding out about Magic Trunk, we found uh, a book um, called Out of the Handkerchief, Out of a Handkerchief by Francis E. Jacobs. And I haven't looked them up, him or her or him, um, but it's uh, it's an interesting, interesting little book of how to make animals out of handkerchiefs. And I suppose back in the back in the day, um, you didn't have modelling balloons. You had to uh, make do with uh, with handkerchiefs. Uh, well, let's have a go. Let's see what see what the fuss is about. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's not dinner time yet. Long way off. It's a long way off supper time. Now I did try using um, other handkerchiefs, paper handkerchiefs, paper napkins, silk handkerchiefs, and they didn't work. But I have got myself dug out the uh, the man hanky. So fold it in a triangle, and then knot the corners A and B form the ears so it's just like that I think yeah, there's a couple of little ears um, and then knot A and C separately for the four legs bringing the legs up and fasten them around with a band around the body alright so there we go like that so we we're tying of knot here, we'll try and knot here, and uh, getting the elastic bands, um, magic bands because I've got some Ooh, lots of elastic bands for doing tricks like this. Oh, but um, yeah, these ones we're going to try and use these ones rather than the big yellow ones that I've got. Okay, so let's tie a little waist around his middle. Okay, another turn I think. And then we pump up, plump up the body And tie using little bands for a tail, and another one for the other uh, foot. Oh, if anyone has been made, if anyone make a lot of balloons, um, you'll know how bad your fingers can get with the twists. Oh, that's no good. Let's just try it again. Let's pop a little bit under there. Okay. Oh, okay. So, he's a little, he's, his arms are a little bit big. But, how does that look? Ooh, not very stable. Fold one to two. And three to four, so fold it in half. I think it's more of an Indian elephant. I think I've got it. And I hope you've got to turn it each time. And again, turn. Mm. Hmm. Not quite exactly what I was hoping for. Right, Red Riding Hood. <coughs> fold three to four, three to four, and one to two. So fold it in half. Okay. Okay. Pull the back fold over the head for the hood. Is it a back fold? OSC, oh, right. 
Okay, so we should have a little red riding hood. Let's have a look. No, oh, don't take me apart. Don't take my head away. Oh, don't. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, well, that's probably the closest I'm going to get. You're not quite there. Not quite the teddy bear, but I can see the principle. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, poor teddy. All right. All right. Here we go. This is taking shape nicely. You see that? Hello. That is that is really quite cute. That's gotta be. That's my favourite so far. Mm, okay. I'd say it's more to do more like a a, a salamander. And a um, an alligator. This this is actually quite quite good. Look, that that would make a really good napkin or a handkerchief and a wine glass. That's really quite good. Stick with them. I can see the the effectiveness of these and you've just got to play around with them a little bit to get the right shape but I can see that being a frog hmm I'm not sure if it's a snowman or a whirling dervish but I think that's the principle oh and the last one I'm going to try today because uh, I've got better things to do <sighs> now I've got more I've got I've got stuff to do. I shouldn't be wasting my time doing this. However, it's not wasting time because I'm um, just playing around. So here we go. Right, uh, it's called Rosebud Bouquet. Oh, got it. Wasn't too difficult. Following the instructions properly. That's probably one of the nicest ones. Well, thanks for uh, joining in and uh, making it to the end. I've um, got to quickly send uh, thanks to my uh, my customers who bought some great records this week. Um, Daniel, well done for that uh, Peter Green. He was only on there for a couple of days. That's the green vinyl. Dr. Shivago, Carol, Jean-Michel Jarre's dad. Um, good taste on that one. Lawn Green. Now, that's a really good picture. What a cool guy. Bonanza. Da -da 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 David. Um, and uh, Festival International Hits, going all the way to America. Um, it's still tracking, so um, fingers crossed. Hope you get the video and the records. Uh, it'd be great. I'm sure it'd be fine. Sergio Menze, that is super cool. Um, and if you don't know these guys of Brazil 66, check them out, because that is um, super cool. Um, the fun thing was, we had some uh, cassettes go this week. Um, 80s cassettes great compilation there um we had uh, yeah a uh, flock of seagulls on it which was one of my favorites uh but i do have to say goodbye to an old friend um linda's farm the old frog on a tine that was a terrible accent i won't do that again um yeah we had to go to a fr had to go to a nice home i'm sure and it'll be it will be loved like i've loved it um and what else um i think that was it but uh Oh no, Edith Piaf. Um, yeah, really strange. A, a little forty-five uh, picked up quite a while back, um, but yeah, no regrets. Uh, I hope it's a hope it's not a message, but uh, no regrets. And all about Eve, William. You did a really good uh, buy there. Um, and if it hadn't have been a little bit ripped on the cover, that'd have been worth four or five times as much. So, um, well done. Um, thanks a lot, and uh, I'll see you next time.